click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about crystallization as well as we have also discussed about the definition, principles and a technique behind it. And now in this topic we are going to talk about fractional crystallization. So what is this and what is the principle behind this? This is all we are going to talk about in this topic. So friends, now we are going to talk about fractional crystallization. So it is very much similar to that of the previous one that is what we have did, that is crystallization. So now let us understand the definition of fractional crystallization. So a process of separating the components of a mixture of two or more solids having different solubilities in the same solvent at same temperature by stepwise crystallization is known as fractional crystallization. So in the previous one we have discussed about that is only a one solid or only a one substance it was dissolved in a particular solvent and that particular solvent could be water, ethyl alcohol or depending upon the solid. So there was only one component that was being present in the solvent but in this case we have to separate out two components or more than two components that are basically dissolved in a particular solvent in the same solvent and that also at same temperature. So this is what I'm going to talk about with the help of an example but before that let us understand the principle behind this. So the principle behind this technique is the substance which is the least soluble crystallizes out first and the most soluble substance crystallizes out last. So this is the reason that I'm going to talk about. For example, if we concern about the previous diagram, so that is the same one. So when suppose if we consider a mixture of glucose and fructose and suppose if they are dissolved in ethanol. So in that case we have understood that is the glucose part is not that much soluble in ethanol and that's the reason that we have to provide high temperature. So at high temperature the glucose and fructose the both will be soluble in ethanol. So that solution is basically passed through this filter and that is how basically we can obtain that is we are also providing the hot temperature over here. So that is what we have obtained a filter over here. So we understand that is glucose is least soluble in that is ethanol but fructose is more soluble in ethanol. So that is the reason because of the glucose which is least soluble in ethanol so that will crystallize first. And that is how basically all those that is fructose it will remain in the filter itself and that is how basically we can pour this mixture or we can pour this crystal that has been formed because of the glucose and the other filter in which basically the fructose is present along with the solvent that is ethanol. So once we filter it we can obtain the glucose. So the thing that is what we have left is we have basically ethanol and that is fructose. So after heating it or after digesting it we can find that is the only thing that has been left out because ethanol is very much volatile in nature so therefore it will evaporate and the thing that is left out is fructose or the crystal of fructose. So this is how basically we can separate out two or more solids that are being dissolved in the same solvent at same temperature. But we have to provide that is high temperature during the crystallization process and that is how basically we can obtain two different components of a particular mixture. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.